Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is the part 6 of our 3 weeks road trip around Poland. The enchanting place where we stayed during our stay in Mazuri was in the middle of a forest. It might seem that there would be few things to do in such a remote area. However, the agro-tourism hosts offered various activities, including renting bicycles or a boat. We opted for the first option and set out to explore Nikolaik. Halfway through our tour, we were met with an unpleasant surprise. With a big bang, a tire on one of our bikes burst. Fortunately, there was a professional nearby who fixed the problem at a reasonable price, for a few pets. With a new set of wheels, we hit the road again. Mikowaiki are also known as the Pearl of Mazur, and they host numerous summer regattas. The annual Sailing Song Festival is also held there during which the best shanties are performed. Mazuri is a true wonder of nature, eagerly chosen by sailors, but also by lovers of recreation and water sports. Mazuri, however, is not only lakes, but also numerous monuments and wonderful nature. Mikoaiki has in its coat of arms a fish chained with a golden crown on its head. It is the king of Siedlow, the legendary ruler of the Mazurian waters who chose Śniardwy, the largest of the Great Lakes, as his seat. In the evening we went on a romantic boat cruise on Lake Śniardwy, during which we could enjoy the beauty of the surrounding nature at a remarkable sunset. Just take a look at these views. Layer is a town of bunkers surrounded by forest, lakes and marshes. It is the largest and most recognizable former wartime command headquarters of Adolf Hitler, which was in use from 1941 to 1945. Hitler spent a total of 800 days there. Operation Barbarossa, the attack on the USSR, was coordinated from there and key decisions were made in managing the German war machine. During the guided tour you will learn why exactly this place was chosen as his quarters, how the buildings were constructed and how the assassination attempt on Hitler was carried out.
The Stanchecki viaducts are among the largest bridges in Poland. The two bridges were built in the 20th century in order to serve as railway overpasses. These reinforced concrete giants are about 200 meters long and 36 meters high. Until recently, these bridges were the best and most beautiful place in Poland for bungee jumps. However, they have been banned due to the poor technical condition of the bridges. The reserve Wuknainu Lake is a priceless natural place on the map of the Great Mazurian Lakes. It is now not only in Poland, it's one of Europe's most important sanctuaries for waterfowl with particular emphasis on the mute swan. It's worth mentioning that fishing or sailing is forbidden on Wuknainu Lake. Only the stunning nature can be admired there and bird watching is allowed from the edge of the reserve, where observation towers stand. We went around the lake from two sides to get a better view of the reserve and Lake Śniartu. After returning from the biosphere reserve, we took a swim in the lake. After just a short while, we were joined by unexpected companions. After a quick sprint to the car, I returned with old flakes, which we treated our new friends with. Aren't these ducklings wonderful?
When you are in the Mazur region, be sure to go on one of the kayaking trips. There is a reason why Mazur is famous for having the most beautiful kayaking routes in Poland. Nowhere else will you be so close to animals in their natural habitat as there. Along the route, you can enjoy the surrounding natural beauty and animals such as cormorants, swans, ducks, or cool off in the clear water on a hot day. Wild Animal Park Kadidłowo is a zoological garden located in the Pisca Forest in the Mazurian Landscape Park. 
The park is a kind of species protection center where, apart from education, active actions are taken to protect nature, such as the reintroduction of endangered species. Most of the animals in the park are tame and friendly with people, so it is possible to feed pet and admire them up close. Due to the unique nature of this place and the size of the area, sightseeing is only possible with a guide. Information from the guide about the animals that are being observed, their specific histories, biology and threats in the wild is by far the best way to learn. In this way we absorb information in a natural, permanent and full way and thanks to this we can become better and more sensitive to the environmental problems. In the park we can meet with the native species of wild animals that are typical of Mazur like deer, elk, roe deer, beavers, otters, wolves, lynx, cranes, and animals of the Far East. Galindia is the land of the historic Galin tribe located on a peninsula at the mouth of the most beautiful river Krutynia. You can visit the settlement depending on your preference, either alone or with a guide. The tour includes the Galin Lauks, the sacred groove, the clearing of rituals, the underground caves of Perkun, the labyrinths of demons, the ember chamber and the witch's cavern. Thank you so much for watching, leave your thoughts in the comments, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. See you in the next one, bye bye!